Hey guys, Leonard, and welcome back to another Skyrim console mod video. Bringing you five of the best mods from the past 24 hours on PlayStation 4, and of course, all of these mods are available for Xbox One as well. Now, I have at least three videos coming out today, so make up for the fact I only did one video over the past two days, so make sure you look out for another one, even maybe two videos later today, and of course I had one video out already today, so three or four for today. Don't expect me to make that many videos every day, of course. Most days I try to aim for two. So as always, let's not wait around and jump straight into our first mod. First up, we have Populated Dungeons, Caves and Ruins. Much like the Populated Towers and Populated Path mods, this mod seeks to do a similar thing. The Populated Dungeons, Caves and Ruin mod tries to make the game far more immersive by populating the lackluster caves, ruins and dungeons to make them more of a challenge. The Populated Dungeon adds about 300 vanilla enemies into the game. Mainly skeletons, vampires, droggers, falmers, giant spiders, dwemer automatons, wolves, necromancers, warlocks and trolls, to about 50 of the different interiors and some exterior locations throughout Skyrim. This is all to give you more fun during your explorations, especially if you're a higher level in the game. Next up we have the Ebony Knight by Infinite Ultima. This mod does a few things. It adds in a new Redguard Hireling in full ebony armour, which you can find on the end of the pier in the Nightgate Inn. A bard has also been added to the interior of the Nightgate Inn, along with a chest next to the rented bed that you can use for safe storage. The mod adds in four conjuration spells in a chest that the knight has hidden away, and these can be used to summon Skeletons, Draugr, Dragon Priest, and the Akaviri Shade. The knight also has the unique weapon Ebonrend. It uses the Ebon Great Axe model and is the same quality as the Daedric Great Axe. It also has an Fire enchantment which does not wear off. The Mercenary Bowris is better suited for higher level characters or people who play on high difficulty. He has a journal on him that provides a small amount of backstory, so if you're interested in his backstory or his lore, then you can look at that. Also a cool little feature, you can also marry him if you want to, since there are very few Red Guard options to marry in the game. So if you're looking for a new companion, along with some changes to the Nightgate Inn, then try out this the Ebon Knight mod right now. You won't be disappointed, because not only is he cool looking, he's also super strong. Next up we have Vampire Perks Expanded by Jason069. This is a complete overhaul mod to the Vampire Lord Perk skill tree in the game. This mod changes the Vampire Lord Perk tree to make it more exciting and to make your Vampire Lord much stronger. With 17 new perks to explore and enjoy, it also adds 5 brand new spells, Blood Transformation, Blood Plague, Sanguine Ward, and Summon Gargoyle Brute. So what do these new perks actually do? Well, Sanguine Wings, you no longer take fall damage in Vampire Lord form, and you are muffled in human form. Shifting Tides, you gain 20% more resistance to fire, but sacrifice 20% resistance to frost. Vampiric Perfection, deal 10% more damage with your spells in Vampire Lord. And this one comes in 3 different tiers. You also get 2 tiers of Dark Armor. The first tier reduces damage you take from destruction spells by 10% in Vampire Lord form, also increases your armor by 50, and you gain half the effect in human form. In the second tier, it reduces the damage you take from destruction spells by an additional 5%, so 15% overall in Vampire Lord form, also increases your armor by an additional 25, and you gain half that effect in human form. Finally, Sharpened Talons. Melee attacks in Vampire Lord form do 15% more damage, and you're 10% more likely to do critical hits, and this one again has two different tiers. The new spells, Blood Transformation, turns 25 health into 25 magicka per second. Blood Plague, infects a target doing 100 damage over 10 seconds. If the target is killed by Blood Plague, it will jump to the next target. Vampiric Push, can push enemies away from you. Sanguine Ward, cast a Sanguine Ward that negates magic. And finally, Gargoyle Brute Conjure, you can conjure a Gargoyle Brute to fight for you. So overall, this mod adds in a whole bunch of stuff to improve if you play a Vampire Lord character. So really cool if you're a vampire anyway, and you can download and check it out for yourself right now. Our fourth mod is the Balanced New Spells. The Balanced New Spells of Skyrim is a very cool mod that pretty much overhauls the magic in the game. This mod is focused on adding rebalanced spells to the world of Skyrim. Specifically, these new spells focus on filling a niche that currently spells do not address, while still keeping everything balanced. So far, 24 brand new spells have been added, all of which can be purchased from their respective College of Winterhold vendors, Feralda, Finis, Gester, etc., once you reach the necessary skill level. Two of the spells can be found in the Archmage's quarters on a table. Also, like a lot of mods, there's a book that contains the backstory to this mod if you're interested in a bit of lore. So if you're interested in what new spells you actually get, you get a whole bunch. You get destruction spells, add an improved flames, frostbite, and spark spell, 
Expert level Deadly Fireball, Ice Storm and Chain Lightning and added Master level Intense Flame, Lightning and Frost Cloak. For Conjuration, you get the Conjure Boom Atronach, the Conjure Dramora Warlock, the Lesser Dragon Priest, the Spirit Mage, the Summon Decoy spell, and the Summon Bound Mystic Sword or Battle Axe spell. For Alteration, it added Master level Advanced Telekinesis spell, Enhanced Lockpick spell, Adept level Feather spell, Adept level Burden spell, this spell decreases the target's speed by 40%, also added Expert level Beauty spell, so your character becomes more attractive to those around him or her, and added in an Adept Apprentice level Clairvoyance burst spell. It also adds Expert level Cure spell, and there's also a mysterious new spell that has been hidden somewhere in Black Reach. It has a little bit of lore with it, and you can have fun trying to find it. So if you're looking for an overhaul to the spells in the game by simply getting much better spells to purchase, then now you can. Keep in mind you still have to be the relevant magic levels in order for you to use the higher level spells, and that is simply to keep the game balanced. Overall, a super cool mod. Our final mod is Civil War Equipment Organized. This mod organizes the soldiers of both sides of the Civil War from soldiers being seen in roles, infantry, archers and scouts, to wearing armors that the dialogue suggests in the correct areas. While the mod makes more changes to the Imperial Legion, it is simply that they didn't require as much work compared to the Legion that is wearing the wrong armor. For example, in Vanilla Skyrim, all Imperial Legionnaires are wearing Imperial Light and Studded, with only Hadvar and Legates in Heavy, but in dialogue in the game it says otherwise. So what does this mod do? Well, the Imperial Soldiers will now spawn with different names and armour to go with them, along with the correct AI. The names of these are Imperial Legionnaire, which is Infantry, Imperial Archer, Imperial Battle Mage, Imperial Prefect, which is a Captain, and Imperial Scout. Imperial Soldiers also now spawn in different genders and races. Beast races currently appear in the Scout Encounter, Forts and Camps. Garrison Soldiers and Cities are unaffected by the gender and race changes, but do allow for name and equipment changes, but only allowing for Legion Ears and Archers. Stormcloaks have also had changes to their names, so you now get the Stormcloak Soldier, Stormcloak Archer, the Stormcloak Scout, Spell Sword, and the Stormcloak Captain. The captains were made to show officers during the sieges, as outside of the Whiterun siege you never see anything other than the soldiers, so now there's been captains added to make it look more realistic. The mages were added as mages were originally going to be in the game, but were never implemented, other than in the intro in Helgen. Changes have also been made to the AI. In the vanilla game all soldiers got the same AI, however this doesn't really work out if you're using a soldier and an archer, because the archers and the soldiers will try and attack you the same way, even though they're using different weapons, they should have different AI. So with the overhaul, these kind of problems will no longer happen. So this mod is a cool overhaul to the soldiers that are part of the civil war in Skyrim. Obviously this is a big part of the game, and so now all of these things have been approved upon with this mod to make them more realistic and immersive. A good thing since I said these soldiers are found pretty much everywhere in game, so this mod is definitely worth downloading. Well guys there we have it, 5 of the best mods from the past 24 hours on Playstation 4, and of course all of these mods are available for Xbox One as well. If you enjoyed it let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe. I will be back later today guys with another video, so until until then, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all then.